Hey guys and welcome to another Corona tutorial. This one is gonna be a quick one and we will take a look at different uh, glass types in Corona and uh, when you should use uh, which uh, we will be talking about these two checkboxes. So the scene is just a light bulb and a teapot and if I enable Corona Interactive the scene is going to be completely black because we do not have any light source so let's just quickly add an kernel light boost the intensity a little bit maybe like this and uh, so basically to set up a very simple uh, light uh, glass material in corona all you really need to do is disable diffuse set reflection all the way to one and set reflection all the way to one as well so as you can see now we have some basic glass material and you can see it uh, it's casting transparent shadows and it computes refraction so the first checkbox we are going to take a look it is it is this thin uh, no refraction checkbox. This basically simulates very thin glass planes and is useful especially in the cases like this light bulb that has uh, that's mo uh, the bulb is modeled uh, only from uh, one set of faces. It doesn't have front face and back face. It's just a thin surface. So whenever you have uh, such mesh and you want the glass to be thin and you do not want to introduce any sh additional geometry by for example adding the shell modifier with some really really low thickness to simulate it for example if you have like a huge uh, architectural city and all the windows are modeled uh, by from just one plane it's a lot easier to do it uh, on a shader level than uh, to than to manually you know add shell modifier to all the windows so all you really need to do is just enable the checkbox and as you can see both teapot and our light bulb are exactly as you would expect just thin glass without any without any refraction uh, so this is it for the thin and the another checkbox is caustics it says it's slow and it says it for a reason so basically uh, for path tracing it is really difficult to sample caustics especially for the very strong and small light sources so once i enable this you can see that some some of the caustic caustics are showing up but uh, the shadow is a bit darker than we would expect it to be and that's because uh, most of the caustics is getting clamped by the max sample intensity here and if we set it to zero you can see now caustic starts to show up but you can see also there is a lot of re uh, really huge amount of noise with it so that's why uh, the max sample intensity mechanism is there so you get at least some caustics and uh, even though it's not uh, the accurate intensity you do not have completely black shadows instead so uh, the case is where you, when you should use caustics is uh, especially when uh, there are objects that are not covering too much of the rendered surfaces for example you would use it uh, for something like glasses on a table you wouldn't use it on a window that's covering uh, you know uh, glass that's covering window and as that would prevent uh, most of the light from entering the room especially when the max sample intensity is enabled but uh, the max sample intensity is not uh, is is actually quite smart so as i said only only the small and very bright light sources are hard to sample so if i enable it again and i make this light really small let's say only like this and really strong 
you can see that we get pretty much completely black shadow there's not much caustics going on just the shadow is almost black and now if I disable the max sampler intensity you can see the caustics are uh, start to show up but uh, they look more like fireflies than like actual caustics and they would take a really really long time to resolve whereas if I enable the max sampler intensity back and if I if I make the light source actually quite large and not very strong let's say imagine this would be a window into the room you can see even though we have a max sample intensity enabled the caustics are showing just nice because it's a large light source and it's quite easy to sample even through the refraction and now if we disable the max sample intensity you see that not much has changed when it comes to the intensity of the caustics so therefore uh, you can see that you can easily use the caustics for some smaller objects especially if your light sources are uh, not very strong and not very small so uh, to look at it uh, in some realistic context let's imagine that uh, this right here this plane let's try to model a room out of it so let's just select border extrude it cap it flip the normals just add some simple window flip the normals again take a look inside and enable our environment you can see that uh, immediately let's let me just for the interior enable uhd cache and also increase the exposure you can see immediately that uh, the caustics show up and they do not create any more noise than the rest of the scene uh, so basically in such case you can easily if, if this was for example let's say a room with a table and the glass object objects would be on top of that table this would be actually very easy to, easy to sample so uh, that's what I was talking about uh, you can see this is all the rendered area but uh, the teapot here and the glass bulb here they shadow only about this area they don't shadow uh, the the entire room so for these cases and uh, for the cases where the window opening is quite large and uh, the light coming in is not very very strong it's perfectly okay to enable this when it when it, it is not okay to enable caustics is for example if you have as i said glass in a window so let's create some simple glass put it here you can see now our room is completely dark so let's duplicate this glass let's assign it and as you can see our scene got quite noisy and if i disable the caustics you can immediately see the noise is uh, cleaning up a lot faster so for this case for the glass in the windows you can either use thin glass or just glass without caustics and it will render just fine also let's say you have modern offices with like glass walls that's where you will use regular glass or or thin glass as well uh, the caustics is use useful as i said for the small objects that uh, do not cover uh, much of the rendered surface so le let's say if you want to have uh, slightly more accurate shadows with caustics on a like uh, glassware on a table that's where you will enable the caustics also again uh, same applies for the window if window is large and uh, not very uh, light coming through the window is not very strong then caustics will render fine but again if i made window really small like this 
even smaller. This is actually the use case where the portal will do great job. So let's just quickly add portal light. I mean portal material. So let's snap it here. Get Corona portal material, put it on. All right. Now you can see that caustics are causing a lot more noise because they are mo more difficult to sample. And if we were to even disable the MSI, max sample intensity, we would get even stronger noise. So again, um, in this case, uh, it, it's a trade-off. It's usually good to enable caustics only when there are uh, when there are light sources uh, that are quite large and not very strong. So uh, this is it for the glass material. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you next time.